So this is the vacuum former. Um, as you can see, this part swivels around. There's a heater on the underside of this um, top part, and this is the frame. So this goes moves up and down. Um, with this, we can we get to fabricate mud guards as well as whitening trays. Um, so uh, I'll, we'll just go through how to use it. Um, this part, the frame opens up, so you have to move the heater out of the way. It's not on right now. Um, in order to, so one of these sheets, for example, this is a whitening tray sheet, um, gets to be placed and centered well in this frame before we um, turn on the heater. So once it's centered well, you get to place the lock on, and then we get to take this part up and use one of the sides to lock it in place. So it's just a handle, lock, unlock. And when uh, when we ha when we're gonna press it down afterwards, we just unlock it and push it down. So we'll lock it in place there. So what we need to do first. Um, so right now it's plugged in. One side. This this is the turning knob. So it's very simple uh, because turning the knob this way will turn on the heater. And as soon as you want the suction to activate, once we have the model placed there, um, we turn the knob the other way. So those are the two only options, which makes it really easy. So let's just see how the model will be placed. The model is trimmed so that there's a, kind of like a horseshoe because we need to have this airspace so that when the suction goes through um, or the vacuum, the air can actually easily move and suction the tray over top of the teeth. So we'll center it as well, um, or we can turn it towards us at the very center, making sure there's nothing on the plate that uh, makes the model rock, making sure it's firm. And then swivel the, have the heater on top of the uh, tray, and we'll just turn it on. Now we have to watch for this because um, as soon as the material that we place there starts to uh, melt a little bit, we get to see um, how it, it's going to start drooping past the frame. Once it droops approximately, it's only approximately, um, maybe a centimeter to two, uh, we, it's ready to be pressed down onto this model. So there's a little bit of a wait at the beginning, and then when it starts drooping, it goes really fast, so we have to make sure that we're around and not walk away from the machine. Good. <laughs> Good. It's well. So as you can see, the material is starting to droop. And usually you want to be at eye level with the frame because that's the most accurate and it goes pretty fast. I'll turn the heater to the side, open the handle, but also turn on the vacuum. <laughs> on for at least 15 to 20 seconds at least um, right now I'm just testing the material it's not soft it's not goopy it's not sticky that means it's ready to be just taken out of the frame um, but be careful with not taking it out right away or at least put some cold water on it before you actually start taking it and peeling it off the teeth um, other than that um, this is how you use this machine make sure that the heater never stays on of course and that when storing it away, the frame is down, um, the heater is back in place, the arm, so that it doesn't get damaged. And that's how you use the vacuum.